Today's video is going to be all about converting your four foot fluorescent light bulbs over to four foot LED bulbs. It's going to be fast, it's going to be simple, and you'll be surprised at how easy it is. So stick around. problems you'll have with fluorescent lights when they've been sitting overnight and they cool down and then when you turn them on they're not very bright it takes them a while to charge up and get bright to the full lumens that they're supposed to have well you don't have that issue with LEDs we're going to change these out to LED lights which come on bright right from the start there's no warm-up period and it gives you a perfect white light We're going to go ahead and take out the old tombstones or the shunts and get it prepared for the new tombstones that have wiring attached to it. The light bulbs we're going to use are single ended so the power is only going to be on one side of that bulb. We're going to replace the shunts on the other side with just standard no wires attached shunts or tombstones and then we'll be ready to put in our new LED lights. And we'll just push these little tabs on the sides of the tombstones. Push them in so that they'll come on out. And we can set that to the side. We're not going to use those anymore. These are our new shunts. Or tombstones. And we'll put those in in its place. It's just going to slip up in there and it should snap right back in place just like the old ones did <clears throat> and we can go ahead and put our plate back in place And our power side is ready. We'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side, except that we're going to use, we're going to use these. There's no wires attached to this because like I said, these bulbs are single ended. So the power is strictly on one side, the left and the right. You got the hot side and the neutral side. 
all powered in on one end. These are simply going to be put in place to hold that light bulb in place. Make sure that you take care of all the pieces that you're taking apart so that when you put everything back together, you'll have everything you need. This has got little lock washers on it. We don't want to lose those. All right, same thing with this. We're going to push that little tab in on both sides. The tombstone will pop right out. Set those off to the side. Put our new tombstone in. Set this back over the screws that are holding it. And put it back together. Now we're ready to wire it up to our temporary cord, which I have right here. I've already stripped the ends down. So we'll wire into, on the other side, the two neutrals and the two hot legs. Right, we'll grab our hot legs. Go ahead and make this a neat job by just kind of separating the wiring. You don't want to have it all tangled up inside of each other. Go ahead and hook that to the black wire that's on our temporary cord. And we'll grab our white legs. The neutrals. As I stated a little earlier, these bulbs are single-ended, so which means that the power only goes in on one side. And you will see that the single-ended bulbs shows your AC input. It'll be kind of hard to read there, but it's only going to be on one side. So what you need to do, take off this little protective cap on both ends. That protects the pins. I'm going to want to put this bulb in. To both of your sockets. And twist up. Till it clicks. Now because this shunt. Or tombstone. Has hots on 
one side of it, the hot leg on one side, and the neutral on the other. That's what's giving you your power into this light fixture. So we'll grab the other one. We'll verify that we are AC input on that side of the bulb. We'll put that in. We'll twist it up till we get a click. And we've got some bulbs installed that are LED. Single-ended. Your power is coming in on both legs on one side of the bulb. Now that we've got the bulbs in, we'll go ahead and plug in the temporary cord just to see them light up. The nice thing about LEDs is that you don't have that ballast in there. I bought a, <clears throat> you don't have that ballast in your light fixture that you're going to have to worry about going out. And trust me, ballasts go out and they're not cheap. And they can be a little confusing on installation if you do want to replace it. What I would suggest, buy this kit that I bought. It's a bypass kit where you can do away with the ballast. You don't have that hum. You don't have that power consumption that the ballast causes and you're going to get a whole lot brighter bulb and it's going to last you a whole lot longer than a fluorescent ballast ever would. So I'm going to put a link in the description below on the light kit that I bought to do this conversion. All the tools and supplies that I use to put this in. It's a simple job. You just take it apart, put it back together. All the parts are going to be in that kit. So there you go. LED conversion from a fluorescent light fixture. You won't be sorry. You're using probably more than half of the power than what a fluorescent fixture would do and that's going to give you some really bright light all right thanks for watching this is dan giles with let's fix it i'll see you soon All right, we'll go ahead and put this bad boy back together real easy and quick. Alright, so these are your tombstones, and for whatever reason, they call them tombstones, I, I'm guessing you can probably see why. They kind of do resemble tombstones. So, inside of the tombstone are these little brass contacts. Don't know if that's going to be focused in on it enough where you can see that. I'll try to get a better picture of it here. But anyway, around this white, you can see it pretty good. There's brass contacts inside of the tombstones. And non-shunted simply means that these brass contacts are not connected internally in the body of this tombstone. They are individual pieces connected in through where you would push a wire down inside of here. So the way you want to test to see if you have a shunted or a non-shunted tombstone is get your ohm meter and set it to a tone that way you can audibly hear it and then just press it against the little contacts inside of there and you don't get a tone well if I switch it over here you'll hear it so that's just making contact on the same terminal 
So I'm pushing it on against these two terminals and I'm not getting a tone, which means these are non-shunted. So that's perfect for what we want to do for a single-ended LED bulb conversion. Simply get the pack of, of the tombstones. And like I said, I'll put a link for these in the description. And then when you take your light fixture apart, you're going to have some extra wires. You're probably going to have a, a black and a white that's perfect for what you're doing here. Go ahead and get the ends of them. And strip that back about three quarters of an inch. So that you have bare wire on both of those. And then all you're going to do is on one side for a single ended LED light bulb, you want to push one side, it's going to be black. So you push that in that terminal right there, and that's not coming out. And then on the other side, you want to do the white, the neutral wire, push it in there. So now, you've just created your own tombstone, ready to go into a single-ended LED light bulb. So if you find online some single-ended bulbs that don't come with these, you can make these yourself. I'll put links in the description below for the LED bulbs. I'll put them in for the tombstones. And you'll be ready to go.